everyone here's a question from ratio and proportion the question is if 10 15 x are in proportion find the value of x so here they have given 10 15 x are in proportion this means here is a solution this means that 10 is to 15 is in proportion with 15 is to x okay so we have to find out the value of x. Proportion means when two ratios are equal, we're going to call it as proportion. Now how to solve this? So we're going to use a formula here. So we might have learned this formula that is product of means is equal to product of extreme. Now what are means here? Mean is nothing but the one which are at the center. That is here 15 and 15 are at the center, right? So it, they are called mean. The one which are present at the extreme end, which is 10 and x, they are called extremes. So product means multiplication. So product of mean means we have to multiply 15 and 15. So 15 multiplied by 15 is equal to product of extremes. Extreme here is 10 and x. So 10 multiplied by x. So 15 into 15 is 225 is equal to 10 multiplied by x. Now I want only the value of x. I don't want this 10 over here. I'm going to transpose this to the other side. Now 10 is in multiplication with x. When you transpose, it comes in division. So 225 upon 10 is equal to x. Now we're going to cancel this. You can uh, you're going to get the answer in decimal. Now since only one zero is present in the denominator, it's 10, right? So in this number, I'm going to place a decimal point from the right side after one digit. Why one digit? Because only one zero is there. Or if it's confusing you, you can just simply do a division here. So therefore, x will be equal to 22.5. So after 5, I have placed a decimal point. You have to place a decimal point off from the right hand side. Now suppose you have a 2 zero. So that is suppose you have a 225 upon 100. Okay, suppose, I am just explaining you. So 2 zeros are there. This means after 2 digit from the right hand side, you have to place a decimal. So it's 2.25. So this is a short way of solving this. If you solve by long division also, you are going to get the same answer. So 22.5 is the answer. I hope it's clear. In case you have any questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.